what is up everybody how's it going hope your day is going well it's kind of early here on the west coast but for gary b it's uh just about time to walk into the movie theater and watch a great movie so i'm jealous buddy if you're watching this right now i am jealous so let's see who's in the live right now we got Las Crucius, what's up, New Mexico? This guy is in everybody's life. He is in everybody's comments. Las Crucius, I think, is the uh, the most supportive guy in the community, honestly. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sean, Soul Twice, what's going on? Fantastic artist. If you guys want your chibi art done, it's $20, I think he said, and it's by three get one free or buy four get one free i forgot but yeah you guys should check him out on instagram super jesse my beautiful wife what is up jen my neighbor down the road what is going on and we got mr gary b himself who is going to see godzilla versus kong who is just making fun of batman in our chat just a little bit ago thanks buddy and then Speaking of great artists, Mr. Dallas Anderson. You guys should check him out as well on Instagram. Um, he just recently did a uh, a cover for Something is Killing the Children for my wife, Super Jesse. It's pretty damn killer what he did with that book, considering what he had, you know, the red, all the red that was where he didn't want it. That's an artist for you right there, though, taking what you have and turning it into something just magnificent. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, go check him out. There's my buddy, Mr. Rob Fastack, the guy with the best mustache on YouTube. What's going on, Rob? Peanut butter. And Mr. DJ Links, you're what is going on, buddy? Speaking of DJ Links, uh, I'm going to be opening up a box for Mr. DJ Links quite a decent size box um curious to see what is in here i have a special guest that will be joining me soon he is uh in traffic luckily he is not in la traffic like i told him real quick we're gonna go ahead and uh get into this real quick while we wait on my special guest this is something that we ordered off of ebay or super jesse ordered off of ebay for me and let's see how eBay seller X handled this package right here. So Gary B, again, I am jealous that you're going to uh, go to a, a real movie theater right now. I am extremely jealous. All right, so they sent it sandwiched in. Something that's not really that protective. And then they didn't use pull tabs. Don't they watch the comic book community, guys? Don't they watch? What did they even send this thing in? Yeah, so what it is, it's a $4 book. And really what I wanted is them to send it in a Gemini mailer all bubble wrapped and in a you know a flat rate box i know it's a four dollar book but i wanted them to send it in a fifteen dollar you know shipping box come on isn't that how people normally do it dj links does just ask him <laughs> what is up freaky louie what is going on buddy yeah dj Maybe I was that guy that my secret account on eBay. I'm like, hey, I want to buy this dollar book from you, but I want you to send it in a $15 flat rate box. And I want it in a Gemini mailer. Look what this guy sent it in. Isn't this something you put like paperwork in at your office? You put your little files in there and you file it away. That was what he sent it in. Super. This one's a little bent, but that's okay. Let's check it out. What do we get? We got a Walking Dead. This is for Super Jesse, I take it. There's Mr. Negan on the cover. Some more Walking Dead goodness here.
What is up, John? Oh, our guest, folks. Here he is. One of the first channels that I really found and started backing because just this guy knows everything, it seems like, when it comes to comic books. He's just super informative, easy to watch. Please welcome Mr. Comic Vet Chris. What's up, buddy? I'm, ha I'm handsome, too, right? You are. You got the same haircut. <laughs> Look at these haircuts. Look at that. Easy to maintain. <laughs> uh, Jay, thank you very much for the kind words and slotted up people. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm just a little late. Traffic was a little thick. But uh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me again, Jason. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you for the kind words. You're no, one of the guess... nicest human beings that I know. And I uh, think Gary... everyone in the chat would agree with me. Oh, maybe not Gary B. But no. uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for your loss, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> here to comic, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah, he loves the haircut. It's That's why, you know, I started growing this because yeah. Yeah. Distract. Rob says it falls down. That's what he says. <laughs> so we got a, uh, let's see, let me, how do I, uh, noob, there we go. Another in the Walking Dead here, number 106. Very I, nice. I want to say that I opened the wrong package because I thought it was supposed to be a uh, Alien number one Scotty Very Young nice. cover. Very nice. So I absolutely opened the wrong package. Oops. Yeah. So some walking oh the good the old Carl. Carl. That's a, Coral. That's a good cover right there. Look at that, he's ready to go. Yeah, that's uh that's a solid cover. All right. So while DJ Lynx is still with us, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box here. It's from Mr. DJ Lynx. You're you guys I'm not even gonna say the whole if you're not following him, because I already know you are. <laughs> right? <laughs> DJ Lynx is, uh, yeah. You know what's cool about DJ Lynx? DJ Lynx is getting so famous now that everyone kind of has a DJ Lynx story. Right? And, uh, yeah. And mine was, I, uh, I asked him to join Mark and I on Two Cool Guys, Two Hot Picks on the fifth episode to uh, see if he'd be interested in coming on, just dropping a quick pick uh, because it was a heavy solicitation week. And, of course, he was kind enough to donate his time, and he said yes. And he, he made the joke. He goes, I didn't know what to say. It was two hot guys or two guys, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, right? I, I, I still, laugh at, still laugh at that whenever, uh, whenever I think about it, whenever someone messes it up or whatever. And I like the fact that he keeps poking fun at it. But, uh, he, again, he's, uh, he's in, an incredibly loyal YouTuber, so everyone should be checking him out. Yep, absolutely. Two hot guys. I remember that's funny when you made that comment. I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, one of them's one got cut. a really nice haircut for sure. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark so certainly he wrote, does. <laughs> I was going to say, either he wrote this in calligraphy and has amazing or phenomenal handwriting, which could be very much the truth, or he printed it. So it's that slot. Happy birthday, my dude. Hope we get to celebrate the only way Oregonians can with that legal crack. You know how we do it in Oregon. Thank you for your awesome channel, the Rig Game Show, and most importantly, your friendship. Stick around. All right. So there you have that. You guys, that's either, like I said, amazing calligraphy or a really nice font. I'm just going to go with amazing calligraphy, right? A man of many talents. Exactly. <clears throat> so... Jimmy Don's watching. Sorry, buddy. Congrats on the win, Jimmy. I know, right? Jimmy Don and his win. One of my favorite parts is when he made you put that goose egg up there just to drive home the ball. <laughs> that is a Jimmy Don, uh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I see, uh, I see my guy Batman right here. Sorry for the bubble wrap. Oh. Nice. Oh, boy. I can All see right, what that is. Beautiful. Wow. That is 
That is phenomenal. Wow. Even with the Jim Lee art featured on the side there. Wow. Yes, for sure. Yeah. And then the back here. Kind of show you because I'm not the guy that usually takes stuff out of the box ever. Even if it's to show someone what it is. Yeah. You may have to free that one from its cardboard. Uh, <laughs> it's cardboard home. Cardboard prison, sorry. Yeah, that is spectacular. Yeah, wow. but I'm going to thank you very much, DJ. This is amazing, brother. So let's. I'm actually going to open this. I don't want to, but I am because I feel like it should be shown. And then we will continue slot miss. And be very careful because that is a super sharp knife. Let me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm scared to even pull this thing out of here. That's what she said. I know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. All right. So I'm not actually going to pull this thing out of here. I'm going to leave it in. And I will pull it out later when it's safer to pull out when I'm not live and under a time, not even under a time frame. I just feel like, yeah, I want to make sure I don't do anything and damage the packaging when I pull it out. So I will show it later on Instagram, but that is awesome. Wow. It's just, it's another, yeah, it just shows you how great this community is, right? And then we got uh, Chip Geller. What's up, buddy? Sorry I missed you earlier. Yeah, DJ. Uh, DJ's the man. <laughs> His is the fourth, fourth of July. Yeah, the Fourth of July. Yeah. Hard to miss that one. Actually, I know someone else who's the Fourth of July. It's either Gary B or Jimmy Don, and then there the other guys is the day before, the day after. I'm horrible with dates, but I know that much. So, Gary B, go ahead and correct us. <clears throat> so, and then we got this, Ooh. which is, I'm guessing this top thing will be a t-shirt, because <laughs> I like t-shirts. The slotted up wardrobe continues to expand. <laughs> What's funny is we just got a new dresser. And you guys are going to laugh. We just got a new dresser, so the closet that we have can be dedicated to my T-shirts. And she could pull her shirts out of it. So the, the closet well, in the slot. you tell me, you telling me your lady is giving up closet space for you? That is what wow. I am telling you. Wow. That's a big, that's a, that's a, that's a commitment right there that most women are not willing to make. That is incredible wow yeah that's a whole different that's level love of... that's love with capital l oh nice wow. all right this will be one you see soon on my next video probably i'll just show you how fat i am and what size i wear but kind of distracts from the picture so we got oh. wu-tang huge wu-tang fan So we got children, Shaolin man. style, and we got Fat Style 3X. Enter It'll the shrink, fat. though, man. It'll shrink. Instead of enter the woo, it's enter the fat. <laughs> it's for the children, man. Right? Here's the thing. I just recently lost, like, t almost 30 pounds. So um, what's going to happen is I got rid of all, the, uh, all my shirts, all my 2X shirts. Donated them and uh, got a bunch of new 3X shirts. And now that I have all these new 3X shirts, I'm going to lose all this weight. And all my shirts are just going to look like that I'm. It's a vicious cycle, this weight gaining and weight loss thing. What is up, Steve? My fellow WRX owner. We developed a new bond once I found out he drove a WRX. Now, I know he had a little bit of an accident recently. Has he has he had it repaired or replaced? Or do you uh, know? All I know is the deer made it and the family is recovering. <clears throat> but 
<laughs> I don't, how did how's the W? I'm pretty sure the WRX is all fixed up. I'm pretty sure that's okay. what he had said. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him. Yeah, yep, it's 100 percent repaired. That's what I thought. Good, good, and it's a stick that of I do. Of Yeah, I, I don't want him to ruin my. Uh, my fantasy of the WRX owner thing I had by him telling me it's an automatic. Because you I only get the yeah, you only get that car if it's a stick shift, I right. think. But right. they do make it an automatic, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's almost sacrilegious. Yeah. But anyways, all right. Yeah. 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 I thought you could buy him in manual, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's a 2019, and it's my second one, and I love them. I'm a huge Subaru fan. I'm actually trying to talk Super Jesse into eventually getting rid of her Mazda or our Mazda and getting a matching WRX. So, maybe a different color. But what color uh, is yours? You you kind of look like you might be a blue WRX or WRX guy. Are you blue? No, but Steve no. is blue. Is he? Okay. Yes. Come on, Chris. I'm a Batman <laughs> fan. Okay, okay. It's black what, all the way. <laughs> exactly. It's the Batmobile. Well, then what would Super Jesse drive? Red? Spider-Man red? I, Super Jesse, what color would you pick? Her favorite color, I mean, she likes purple a lot, but purple's not a you know color you see on a car. This is amazing right here. <laughs> Wait till you guys see this. I actually thought I missed out on this. Uh, this place called Fearsome Figures online. They do mask, and it's where I bought her uh, autographed Ghostface mask. From uh, it's autographed by uh, I can't even think of their names now. The two two of the main uh, people in the movie, but uh, Skeet Ulrich is probably one, right? Uh, she'll tell us in chat, right? But <laughs> I had seen this. And I had asked in a couple chats, should I buy it or not? And she ended up getting me one. So it's a... Uh, oh, yes. A Casey Jones replica mask. Because I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Matthew Lillard and Nev Campbell. There you go. Okay. So there you have that. We have wow. a... Man, maybe I'll wear this on a, on a future video. That could be like your Halloween rigged edition. This one actually... Uh, hold on here. Wait till you see this. That's what I thought. So not only is it a Casey Jones mask... Oh, it's sweet Jesus. and sketched by Kevin Eastman. Oh, Mary Slot Miss, everyone. Look at that. So, I will not be wearing this in a future video. <laughs> wow. But this wow. is about the extent of it right here. So, yeah. There you have it. That's amazing. Oh, that's so good. I have to shake my head at it. Wow. Very nice. Congratulations, brother. Heck yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved. I don't know about well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> But uh, I I definitely appreciate it. So yeah, there we have that. Uh, I don't even know what to do with this now. I'm just gonna set it down right here because I'm afraid to touch it. Cause... So yeah, there we have. Oh, we got a uh, Mr. Uh, Seedlist E Man. What's going on, buddy? In Dank Comics, Off World Adam. I missed some people. I'm horrible at this thing. So, yeah, that was uh, day two of Slotmas. And as you guys can see up above, there is quite a few other days of Slotmas up there. Yeah, she gave up closet space, Southern Comic Geek. That's uh, That right there is the best gift to uh, a, a guy that loves T-shirts as much as I love them can really get right there right Anybody? That's, a, that's a statement of the day with what he just said wow closet space and that is a gift she is super jesse absolutely super yeah. jesse and then uh again like i said dj links oh, this dude is awesome amazing plush. 
Good taste. Good taste. This is going up on my shelf behind me here for sure. And uh, also, if you guys haven't checked out DJ Lynx's latest video, the giveaway video, if I don't win that, it's going to cost me $285. Because that's something that's... I love Darth Vader. And yeah. I don't even know if I can get it, but I found out it's a $285 statue. I think, if it's the same one I found. I love Darth Vader, and he's my man of Star Wars. He's my the favorite, yeah. Even even little Anakin was just a badass. With that pod racing and stuff, so yeah. You should go check out DJ Lynx's and enter that video, though, or that giveaway, because I think it's May 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> See what he did there, right? <laughs> I think DJ Lynx did that first, and I just... Yeah. Looked all smart and, you know. <laughs> Very good. Um, I didn't mean to give away your MSRP, buddy. I'm sorry. I was just saying, I'm I'm <laughs> probably going to buy it because I probably won't win it. So I'm going to probably, I'm letting, that was yeah. me actually letting Super Jesse know that, hey, honey, when I don't win this, <laughs> be prepared. Because this much is coming out of the budget for this. <laughs> Never mind what's coming over the next 10 days. Now you're focused on Darth Vader. <laughs> you guys know how it is. You see something, you're like, Yeah. I got to have it. It's true. It's I'm, true. A, I'm just messing with you, Jess. You know I am. Am I? But yeah. I have my own budget for, for things here and there. And. If I need to use my budget on Darth Vader, I'm using my budget on Darth Vader. <laughs> There's no 70s kid that would disagree with you either. Yeah. I know, right? Right. I wish I still had my Darth Vader. Uh, uh, see, Jesse's like, I got nine more. Maybe I already have it. She knows how much I love Darth Vader. Just like the, uh, the Yoda that uh, DJ got in his video. Guess what? I loved Yoda, too. So... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One of my favorite uh, Darth Vader things growing up, I had the the action figure holder case that was shaped like Darth Vader's head and his his shoulders, and it would fold open, and it would have all of the Wave One figures. Uh, it would have like its own home or whatever because you put stickers in there with the with her with the action figure's name and all that. And yeah, so yeah, you know that's it was a good it was a good promotional way or. A good way to brainwash the kids is saying you need more figures because you need to fill this up properly. Uh, it, it's that with, it was probably at that point where Kenner turned me into a completionist. But yeah, same with GI yeah. Joes, right? Like I remember Ooh. having so many GI Joes and then wanting to hang my 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 airplanes from the ceiling with string and stuff so they looked like they were flying in the bedroom and stuff like that. And then after I get them up there, I'd be like, "Well, now I want to play with it." <laughs> looks cool but i can't touch it you know what exactly. interesting thing interesting thing about gi joe i collected them too as a, as a young boy growing up every every place where you had a u.s flag on your on the toys we had a canadian flag actually so it was like we had like we had our own subdivision of gi joe toys so yeah nice. uh, i remember having the tank and it would take a bunch of d-sized batteries and you could move it forward where the action figure would sit into the tank that's kind of like the joystick and made a crap ton of noise as it moved along but yeah there you had canadian flags all over it yep and speaking but, of super just don't think that super jesse just gives me all kinds of stuff guys and i don't i don't give back she has got three hold on i i can't i can i screen share on this i probably can huh Let's see if I could. Uh, let's see if I can pull up some. I have some amazing art that I had done for Super Jesse. Yes, you did. And let's see if I could actually find it and share the screen. Oh, that's not okay. I am not very good at. There we go. There's that one. It doesn't show up very good on, on the computer, though, because it's Instagram. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just pull it up on here and see if maybe you guys can see it on here. But I had, she loves something is killing the children. 
and I do now as well, since I've actually read the book. Turns out if you read it, you'll actually like it. If you just sit back and hate <laughs> on it all the time, you're probably not going to like it at all. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, it was uh, it was my great find of 2020. Oh, so, yes. So that right there is Star Wars and more art on Instagram had done that. I mean, that's coming in the mail, and I'll do an unboxing, or she will do an unboxing, one or the other, of that. And then um, I had also had Squatchy on Instagram, had him do a commission for a wraparound cover that's at CGC right now. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. That is a Walking yeah. Dead cover that's he turned into something is killing the children. Yeah, but it's killing the Walking Dead instead. Right. And that, that's a great take on Erica as well. And then this is the uh, backside of it there, where the blade wraps around with the yeah. fire. Incredible, fantastic and work. There was one <laughs> more. This is Mr. Dallas Anderson, who is in the uh, the chat himself. Ooh. See, this one right here is I like because. What he, what he had was a cover that was really hard to work with, and he took something that was really hard to work with and made it work for him as opposed to against him, Oops, and then turned it into that amazing piece of artwork right there. And wow. This view does not do Octo justice. The amount of detail that's in Octo right there. I think is, I want to change my mind about my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, the that octopus is just incredible. Yeah, it's, wow. it's amazing. So that's another thing I've been really addicted to is uh, once you get into uh, comics, you know, we find that what's up, actual Dracula? We like a lot of art. And then, you know, I've been buying a lot of art, like Taylor Winder's box. That was one of the things that I really liked about his box was the you know, the original art that he put in there, the uh, Punisher that you can actually, let's see, right there, barely in the background. But yeah, art's fun. I wish I was better at it. Like if you guys have seen me on uh, Lame or Frame, you'll know that I'm never going to commission anything on the cover of a comic book for anyone. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to dream, though, man. Like it is. <laughs> it's it's nice to dream and nice to trace when you have the time to do it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of artists, Freaky Louie is a phenomenal artist. Some of those backdrops that he does for his uh, con adventure pic pictures. I don't know how he draws them. I mean, there's some of them look exactly like the cover, and they're like life size. So that's just great. What's up? Chris, another Chris. Canadian as well. Exactly, another Canadian Chris. Our uh, buddies up north there. So what do you got uh, coming up on your channel here soon, there, Chris? Uh, <clears throat> Wednesday is New Comic Book Day, so I'll be uh, recording from my car. And uh, let's see. I might be uh, joining Rob this weekend and joining Mark this weekend. That's it for me right now. There might be a surprise come Friday. Who knows? Yeah, that last video you dropped with all those. Uh... Speaking of Chris, we said Chris a bunch of times and Chris showed up. <laughs> There's a. Uh... Yeah. If Darius Rucker can't ever make a gig, Chris is the guy they use to replace him, right? You guys, did you see that on Instagram? <laughs> yes. I was a huge fan of Hootie and the Blowfish back in the day. And even when Darius Rucker went on his own and you know, did, you know, like Wagon Wheel and a bunch of other songs and albums and stuff, he's just got an amazing voice. So very distinctive. Yep. Absolutely. And then my, my channel, pretty much, um, I'm getting close to 500. I'm going to do another giveaway when I get over the 500. My Grow Together. Thing is getting close for my giveaway. I'll be giving away this, which is the uh, Department of Truth trade paperback, as well as the mystery box. 
and you can win it if you live in Canada. You can, you know, it's I'll ship it to wherever. And uh, really, it's Taylor Winder is. I don't know how he is still only twelve. He's twelve subs away from six fifty. Taylor Winder should be at a thousand by now, for sure. I think. Uh, Comic Hunters ten away, and Mister Fat Stacks Mustache himself, Rob, is one sub away from three fifty. So on. if anybody in here right now that's not subbed to Mister Rob Fat Stack of Comics, go give him that one sub he needs to hit three fifty. Might as well hit Taylor and Comic Hunter as well because you're missing out if you're not watching their channels. I mean Taylor Winder is. He was one of the first. He was actually the first guy I sent an AOK to. And yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what. Honestly, I didn't know at the time. I was like, "What's what's a good AOK to send someone?" I was like, "I don't want to send someone something and it'd be like, man, they just they like they're like, yeah, this is cool that someone sent me something, but whatever." So I I had known that he had wanted. He had mentioned the uh, Sandman number one the Neil Gaiman Sandman run. And I, uh, I found one on eBay. It was only, it was a 9.0, but it was a nice copy. And I ended up buying it and I ended up sending that to him for an AOK. So sweet Jesus. You're a good human being. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Taylor, in my opinion, is one of the, like one of the fastest minds on YouTube, man. Like anything he sees, he's got a one liner, Lock, stocked, and cocked, right in that gun, ready to pull at any time. And like, <laughs> it, he uh, he's he's got a brilliant mind, and a and his artwork is just superb. Yeah, speaking of his artwork, let me yeah. grab. Yeah, his his mind is amazing. He's witty. I mean, his sense of humor might not be for everyone. Oh yeah, I personally love it. I'm I'm a cynical, cranky old. You know, just like he is. <laughs> so I love his grumpy old man. Look yeah. at that Punisher. Yeah, look. And he did yeah. this just just out of spite because I gave him, I gave him Peter Porker, Spider Ham, uh, Batman, of course, and the Punisher. And I'm like, I know you're not gonna do the Punisher, but so I kind of said that. Reverse psychology, hoping that he would do the Punisher, and he did. <laughs> what is up? And I, you say I'm the grumpy one. I know, right, old man? I am pretty grumpy too. <laughs> I just like giving you. I like giving you the crap because you take it the best. You take it in stride and roll with it. What's going on? I going think one, on? Of, I one of my best favorite. Taylor Winder lines of all time. I was watching him do a live stream and he opened up a uh, uh, street level hero box uh, from that Spider-Man booth. And there was the trade variant and the Virgin variant. And he looked at him and he said, I'm going to keep the Virgin and get rid of the other. And for those that didn't pick up on it, it was brilliant and like he he like he didn't feed into it he just put it out there i was crying i was laughing so much like i'm keeping the virgin and i'm getting rid of the other just like oh sweet that is just fantastic humor and if you didn't pick up on it it's over your head it's gone it's yeah. you know off to the wasteland it's just like that but yeah that's that's pure taylor winder and honestly taylor winder is the guy that is the guy that Gave me the idea for Rigged. I mean, obviously, Rigged is his shirt, right? It was his yeah. idea for the shirt, and it was his idea well before I even thought of anything. And then he also had mentioned a game show idea that he was talking about doing that was something his uh, his niece or nephew, you know, or whenever he goes over there, like, who would win in a fight, you know? And he was talking about having a who would win in a fight kind of thing where you kind of debate back and forth as a game show. And when he said game show, I'm like, wait a minute. And like that night I sat there and I started thinking, you know, I got a great idea. But it's kind of like taking his rig name and his game show idea and turning it into my thing. So, but he was totally okay with it. And yeah, I love it. I'm, it, well, I, I'm, I'm, I want to eventually get to the part point where I do it weekly, but he's, he works 
on the weekend a lot. Yeah. So I'm thinking of uh, possibly eventually, I'm not saying right away, but eventually getting, you know, like Taylor one week and someone the other week is I have a lot of people that want to do the show and I'd like to do it weekly, give away prizes weekly, even, you know, it gets a little pricey, but whatever I, it's fun. I, you know, having the different people on and interacting with the community is really why I do it. It's, well, let, let's just put it out. I'll put it out there for everyone that's in the live chat. If you enjoy rig, consider sending Jay a book to give away. Like we all want to be on rigged one day. And I, just about Taylor, by the way, you two, you two guys have great chemistry together as the host and co-host or the Pat Sajak to his Vanna White. But uh, awesome. yeah, you you guys are you guys are covering carving out a real cool niche there. But yeah, like I said, everyone everyone wants to be on rig. Like. We should it, it it should be AOKs that should be the that should be the prizes for that. So everyone that's out there that wants to get on rigged, you know, hit him up for his address. Also, uh, Jesse, I'll give her a shout out too. <laughs> She's she is absolutely super. She has reached out to uh, I don't know a lot of uh, big name comic book mystery box companies and. She has landed a couple of sponsors already for future episodes of Rig. It's not like continued Ooh. sponsors, yep. but, you know, saying, hey, this is what my husband does. And she's landed already a couple of pretty decent sponsors. So that's pretty like, nice. You mean like one, each, one episode will be brought to you by this provider kind of thing? Yes. That's terrific, man. That's wonderful yeah. news. Very yeah, good. So. She's on top of it. She's a... She's a she's a go getter when it comes to that. Well, behind every good man, you know, is a woman waiting to push him off the cliff. Absolutely, <laughs> she's definitely waiting to push me off the cliff. She's like, well, yeah, she heard me talk about one of my, yeah, yeah she heard me talk about uh, Darth Vader, and she's like, wait till he comes out of that bedroom. <laughs> I am gonna push him off that cliff so fast. <laughs> oh, what is up, <laughs> comic poser? Speaking of Comic Poser, I recently joined his Patreon, and he did the uh, giveaway for the Patreon, and I won a 1 in 50 cover of Radiant Black. Ooh, issue 1? I'm pretty sure it's issue 1. Ooh, wow. And that's another person, if you guys are not subbed up to, <clears throat> is uh, Comic Poser. I'm sure you guys are. If you're watching me, I'm sure you've watched Comic Book Poser. He's another just super bright guy that knows a lot about comics has uh, a lot of interaction with his kids on the channel that's really great to watch uh, yeah he likes a lot of indie books like me too so I'm a little biased so yeah see it what is uh, yeah Jesse does rule for sure and Taylor I love Taylor he's working right now or he'd probably be here in the live chat because he was here when I opened his box yesterday. So he'll catch us in the replay. Yeah, he's grumpy. He doesn't right now. He's really <laughs> grumpy this time of day. Probably he's just like me. He's loyal. Yeah, <laughs> he is loyal. That's yeah. Taylor's one of those guys. Like no matter, he's just one of those uh, videos, those creators that no matter what he puts the video out on, I'll sit there and watch the whole thing. So. Later, Rob. Rob is like, I got to go do real work now, guys. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, Poser is hilarious. That uh, the one giveaway he did, he had this crazy background music, and he was doing his little dance, and <laughs> I was... I'm not going to lie. I've watched that video more times than I should. <laughs> Very good. That's pretty much all I got. Uh, that's all I got. That's everything I've got so far with lots more to come. And yeah, it's been an amazing day. Those are great gifts. So I got to go sure. find room for all my stuff. So everyone, thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming to this random live stream in the middle of the day. Thank you again, Chris, for uh, popping on here. I like having someone to talk to. Makes my these pleasure. live streams so much easier. I mean, we talk to the chat as well, but if I miss something, you'll catch it. 
and it's just have fun. It's nice to have something to bounce some you know off of. So everyone, Anytime, my friend, have a great day. I will catch you later. Until tomorrow for slot miss, slot it up.